Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, this is our website. I'm going to go to home page. Okay, so there is the site, uh, earthgrid.com. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go into Google, and I'm going to type in Google AdWords keyword tool. Or you can just Google, Google AdWords keyword tool. Okay, and that gets you right into the Google AdWords tool. So this is some stuff that you probably, most people basically just type a word or phrase in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this page right here, and I'm going to copy it. This is our home page, right? I'm just going to paste that right in this box under the website field. Now, you can do this with any website, any competitor, any product that you're trying to sell. You just pop in the URL of the website. Supposing you're selling a ClickBank product, just pop in the URL of that. What it's going to do is it's going to um, fetch all the keywords right from that site and populate the keyword list down below. Now, the other thing you want to do is, you see where it says broad? I want you to uncheck that and go to exact. We're going to uncheck, you can uncheck broad, but I want you to emphasize this thing. It says exact right over here, okay? And so then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in the, 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 the key. Oh. I hate these captures. I know. <laughs> there we go. Now you see what's really cool is we got all these keywords, build a website, make a website, domain name search, free website hosting. The next thing you want to do is go over here and search by global monthly searches and you see web hosting this is how many times per month people are searching for the exact phrase. Now, if I go to broad and I do it again, you see you have a website, 100 million websites, online website. All that data is kind of useless because it's so broad and so vast that you probably won't even do this, whether you're doing PPC or any kind of campaign. What I like to do is uncheck the broad and just go with exact. And that tells you exactly, oh, okay, there's 135,000 people searching for web hosting every month. Website design, website templates, domain names, blah, 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 blah. All right? That's cool. That's good. Then what you can do, if I can now, do this. I'm um, going to go grab all this stuff because, you know, Google won't let you actually export this stuff. But you can copy that to your clipboard, and then I'm going to tell you, you know, you want to fire up a very free tool called OpenOffice. You don't already have it. I've already installed it, but go to openoffice.org. Okay, we're already five minutes through, and I'm almost done demonstrating what I was going to show you, which is really cool. This is from a 90-minute video, and this is all I learned from this 90-minute video. So one of the things I'm going to be working on here is delivering 10-minute quick, bam, apply it. Stop this video if you want to and go back. Go to openoffice.org and download this product. It's a free product. It, 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 you know, if you have Office, you can do that too. But um, it may not. You know, I find that OpenOffice works better for um, like copying and pasting stuff in that you like lift it from somewhere else without getting all the force. So I'm going to go here to um, to op OpenOffice Calc. And they could also use uh, Google Docs as well, too. They, they got a spreadsheet there in there. Yeah, yeah, you could use Google Docs, but I don't necessarily want to let Google know that I'm lifting all their content either. Because all the nah, links... They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not the and I also, what I'm trying to do is keep a local copy of it. So, okay, so now I have my spreadsheet here, and the first column has nothing, so I could just delete that. And I could expand this column out right here. And now here I've got all my statistics, right? So I've got my 16 uh, keywords. This is 135,000, local 40,000, okay? And now if I want to do a PPC campaign, I now know what keywords to go after, all right? So then I could save this. I'm just going to save this to my desktop. And I'm going to call this uh, web 
posting keywords. And we'll go back to that. Now I've got now I've got all my keywords that I'm going to go after. All right. So this is very very useful because then the other thing is that supposing if you if you're buying a uh, some pay per click ads, all you need to do is copy this column like Notepad, and then you could open up. Okay. Paste it in. All right. What happened here? Copy. What the heck's going on? Oh, it, it's at the very bottom. There it is. See that? Now I have all these keywords. Now you can grab these keywords and paste them into your PPC campaign and buy those keywords. And uh, we can do another training on actually how to do paid advertising. That wasn't the purpose of this. I just want to show you how to use AdWords and what the distinction is. Now, why would you want to use AdWords? Well, generally speaking, if you don't have a, a keyword that's at least like thirty or forty thousand dollars, thirty dollars, yeah, thirty or forty thousand dollars. I said that. I was like thirty or forty thousand uh, searches per month. It's probably not worth your time to write a blog post to really kind of focus on that keyword, even with PPC. All right. So, um, any questions? I'm gonna. I, this is what I want to impart to you. It's a very, very simple thing. Just to summarize again, number one, pop in the URL, or you could put in the word or phrase here. But I like here is because it fetches all the keywords right from the site. So if you're, if let's say for example you're writing a book, and and you want to come up with some keyword ideas for your book. We'll find a competitor's book that's a bestseller, pop those keywords in there, and then use this to figure out what keywords you want to target for that. This is for getting your basic broad, your, you know, your broad-based keywords down. And then uh, I'm going to pick something like uh, something in the 30, 40,000 range, something like, um, you know, create a website, okay? And then I'm going to go on to the next tool with that. Uh, any, any questions before we... Uh, is that useful? Yes, that's great. I'm sure it is. All right. So if you're watching this video, I'd like you to take action. And none of this really matters if you don't have a reason for using it. So if you're selling an affiliate product, you want to use this information to buy some ads. Take, you know, take some kind of action. Buy those ads or contact the person that sent you to this video so that they can um, show you a little bit more about how to do, um, I mean, how to apply this to your business.